Hey guys, Matt here. Today in this video, I'm going to get my wheels and suspension done. About to do the coilovers on the car. And um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'll probably get someone to help me do the, the fronts because they require switching over the top mount. And then I'll do the rear myself. And also while we do the coilovers, I need to change over the wheels and uh, get these ones off the car so I can get ready to paint them. Got the car all loaded up. We got the um, coilovers in here, which have already been opened by the warehouse just to show me that they were the right ones. And then we got the old wheels back in here, which are gonna go back on the car. All right guys, so we're back home now. I uh, just got the fronts done by my mechanic. He helped me out with that because I didn't have all the equipment. So now we're gonna balance it out with the rear. Uh, I didn't have time with him to do it, so I'm gonna do it myself. I got the box of stuff here. So I got the spring, got the um, adjuster right here, and I also got the dampers in there. So uh, we've got the whole kit ready to go, and now we're just gonna install it. So now the wheel's off, we can see there's two bolts up here and then down below we also have one just here which I need to take off and that should drop um, this part here or this and then I should be able to take out the spring and also the shock. got the old spring here and just take out this rubber mount from the top and I'm just going to place it in here because I didn't include one with the kit so it's easy to just transfer it over so I've already put on the new shock and new spring and um, what I had to do I had to transfer the top mount from the original one here so this is the original shock and I had to take off this part here and put it on the new one. So when we transfer the top mount, we just take off the top, which I've already undone. Take off this part here, and then we put it on the new one. But I'm gonna take off the bump stop because there won't be enough travel otherwise for the shock. and then just screw this on top. So the new shock is all put together now. I just chuck this plastic cover on top and chuck it in like this. So now we're installing the spring and the um, like adjustment thing. So it's just gonna sit like this inside of here. Um, but on the adjustment tool, we have to take off this bottom thing here, which will go on the bottom of the um, like frame and it will um, screw uh, together with this, which will keep it in place. But what I'm gonna do to make sure it doesn't undo is I'm gonna put on some plumber's tape, which is right here, onto the bolt, which will um, make sure it doesn't undo with like vibrations and stuff. It's kind of like uh, Loctite or something. All right, so we're almost done here. I've got the car on two jack stands and two jacks at the back, so I could put on the two rear shocks and uh, it worked out really well. So now it's just time to put on the uh, wheels and we'll see how it looks. Alright guys, so it's all done now, just done the rears and uh, I think it looks pretty good. 
Um, I couldn't get it any lower than it is at the moment, which is unfortunate. But um, if I take out the adjusters underneath the um, spring, I should be able to get it way lower, but I don't think I really want it that low. So um, next video, I'm gonna be painting these rims black, gloss black, and it should be looking pretty mean by then. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.